If you're looking to create videos based on YouTube automation, I can definitely highly recommend two things, Pictory and ChatGPT. Once you learn how to use the two things and put them together, you're going to make your life a lot easier when it comes to video content. And creating content can be so simple based on this. Just remember that whatever niche that you're in is still going to make a difference when you're making YouTube videos. YouTube is a social media site as well as a, a site that people are searching for things daily. So if you're creating videos that you like but nobody else is looking for, there's a pretty good chance that you'll never get ahead of the game if that's what your goal is. So let me just show you real quickly how this works. So when you're using ChatGPT, you ask it exactly what you want. Now, I asked it a little bit earlier here, and I'm in the uh, health niche. I asked it to um, write something based on a certain thing called plantar fasciitis. And I said, write 100 words how to treat plantar fasciitis. It then gave me this here. Now, you do have the option if you want. You can say, hey, can you rewrite this in simpler terms? Because sometimes it may not speak in terms that we may talk in. And if your audience is listening, you want it to sound as human as possible with that obvious element. element. Now, what you can do is, what I do at least, I try to say, okay, I want to make sure that I'm in the safe zone. I'm not taking from anything. Uh, so I'll say, can you write this or rewrite this without copyright or plagiarism? And again, in 100 words. Once I take this information here, I can copy this and I can go to Pictory and I'll head over to the script video. I'll click proceed. I'll paste it here. We'll give it a name. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and take all these, you know, sentences here and kind of break them up a little bit. And what I like to do, because this AI is based upon finding these key words and then putting the right stock video with it, I want to make sure that it makes somewhat sense. So they may not be complete sentences sometimes when I'm doing a short, because you've only got so much space when you're using that aspect ratio. And I'll show you what I mean, but I always kind of put a little bit of a space in between some of these here and then once I'm done okay fast forward we're gonna click proceed when we click proceed it's gonna give you some options okay and those options are gonna be based upon what type of template do you want to use so you may say okay when you click proceed you can pick all different types here and as soon as you scroll over it it will show you what it actually looks like when the words come in okay so let's say, for instance, I want to use this one. I'll click here, and then I'm going to click on the one that has the aspect ratio I'm most interested in. If this is a YouTube short, I'm going to do the 916, okay? So once clicked on that, this is what we have. And I've already gone through it already, but um, just to give you, like, in a nutshell, you've got the video, you've got the words, but you still need a voiceover. So what I like to use is 11 Labs. I use 11 Labs for voiceover stuff. And then once I've got my voiceover, I head over to audio, okay? I head over to audio. I click volume. I take the background music all the way down because I really don't want any trouble when I'm uploading a YouTube video with background music from anything else but the YouTube audio library. You can use what you want, but that's what I recommend, okay? Head over to my uploads. I click here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the 11 labs voiceover I'll open that up and now what we want to do is go ahead because now we've got the video we've got the text now we've got the audio we got to click over here where it says apply and we want it on the entire video so now it's going to sync everything up a lot of this work is being done for you this really makes it easy to create videos and quickly while this is going through this here uh, if you head to the pinned comments and you'd like to try it out and see what it's like, be sure to check the first pinned comment because that will walk you right through um, how to get to Pictory right away. And uh, just to be transparent, I am an affiliate of Pictory, but if you have any questions, I am here to answer them. So now it goes through the video. You'll be able to listen to it, and you'll be able to see all the different visual, things of that sort. And then once finished, you can go ahead and click the download here and click video okay so now it's going to take the video render it everything down prepare all the scenes now you've got it's because now you've got the text you've got the template that you're working with, with the voiceover and it puts everything all together and that's pretty much it 
and then you can go ahead and take that video and then upload it to YouTube or you can use some sort of software if you want to you know maybe put a YouTube audio library song in the background I use Filmora um, so it just depends what you want to use but that's how easy it is I just want to really be clear how simple it is to use Pictory and if you really want to cut your time in half this is the easiest way to do it Pictory is some of the latest greatest AI technology that you can use I'm totally excited about it and it's really been a game changer for me making videos because then I can produce videos a lot faster a lot quicker in less time and essentially this is what you want so be sure to head to the pinned comments below where you can find out Pictory and how you can take advantage of using something like this AI software. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.